Today we're talking about self-esteem, building your own and fostering it in others. So what can you do to give yourself a little boost? Ada on Your Side has the answers for you today. Joining me now is psychologist Dr. Stacy Schechner. Always great to have you on the show. Thanks for being here again. Thanks for having me. So we're talking about self-esteem. First yes. of all, you know, people hear the word self-esteem tossed around a lot. Maybe they have a lot, a lot of it, a little of it, but what, what is it? Exactly. Self-esteem is not only how you feel about how you are on the outside, your body image, how you look, but how you feel about yourself on the inside. Do you feel you're capable of doing things well? How do you feel about your characteristics, your qualities? And not only that, how do you feel about your weaknesses? Are you able to say, you know what, even though I may have failed at this, I still can learn from it for the future. So that's the true definition of self-esteem. So where does it come from exactly? It comes from within. And what happens is, when babies are born, like they're going to be born soon, <laughs> You're on your way soon um, here, exactly right? a few more weeks. <laughs> what happens is the first effect to self-esteem is the parents. Are parents understanding, compassionate? Do they listen? Do they validate? Or are they critical or judgmental? And then what happens? Where where does your child go next? To school. So are mm -hmm. teachers compassionate and understanding and nurturing growth within you, even if you make mistakes? Or are they critical and judgmental? And then next, parents for middle school. What happens? peers oh, yeah. how are they affecting you so how do you do in society how do kids and parents what do they do how do they relate to society are they feeling like they're making a contribution so all of these factors affect our self-esteem and they affect our uh, relationships as well obviously yes if we don't have self-esteem if we have low self-esteem we can get into abusive or controlling relationships we cannot feel that we're good at our job and let um, jobs pass us by and let promotions pass us by now on the other hand if we have too high self-esteem we can be egotistical we can be cocky we can then ruin our relationships at, in careers and at home so you need a balance. You, you need, need to find you, that balance. You have to have a balance between accepting and acknowledging and being confident in your strengths, but mm -hmm. also going, you know what? These are my these are my weaknesses. And and being able to take feedback, being able to take constructive feedback, admitting when you're wrong, those describe a person who has good self confidence and Always good self esteem. Good stuff there. Thank you again so much. A difficult topic, but I think you nailed it there. Thank you. So we appreciate it. Stay close. We'll be right back.